Alright, welcome back. We're going to play some more Val Wings. Caliban, tell me it isn't true. What? Oh, all oh, right. Hmm. I'm afraid it is Shade. Frida has simply vanished. I, I don't know what could have made it come to this. There are hardly any clues on my end that could explain her disappearance. I've sent out search parties already to locate her. Okay, okay, good. I really hope she isn't hurt. Or kidnapped. That will mean this place is no longer the safe haven I thought it was. I can assure you there is not a single soul outside of this place that knows about my shelter. Are you sure? Have people been going in and out? Shade, trust me. It is a waste of breath discussing this. Don't let this thinking get to you. I make sure every waking moment this place is kept unknown to any, advers uh, any adversary. I would really hope so. I also would like to put some degree of faith in you, but I am finding it difficult at this moment. Believe what you want. You do not serve in my every move. You have my word that I am doing everything in my power to keep us inconspicuous. Shade, I advise you not I advise you not to worry about this incident. We will find your elder in no time. You should head out and continue your journey. You might be right. Shade? When when I talked to Frida before, she, she seemed different. But if there's something I know, it is that she is more than capable of watching over herself. She wouldn't want me throwing away my time just looking for her. You have to think more positive here. After all this time she has watched over the colony, do you guys really think she can't handle herself? Once in a while, I agree with you, Shady. This is all kind of weird, but I would bet my left wing free this fight. She is getting kind of old, though. That doesn't mean a thing. Just saying. Do you have any idea where you might be going? Uh, no. I thought you might have something. Back at Emerlo, we did find out the machinators are working with the cannon. What? That is preposterous. Those desperate fools. Their technology also seems to be advancing. They were in a getup I don't mind, think I've seen before. One of them managed to retreat and spouted out some nonsense. That nonsense is coordinates, I believe. What? Seriously? Yeah. I can't remember it though. Siroko? What's up? I think Siroko remembers. For real? Well, that's great. How do we figure them out though? The coordinates? You could go and visit Pertisk. Judging from his library and research, he seems to take a great interest in geographical studies. That's a good plan. We'll be right back then. Stay safe out there. The elder appears to be gone, like vanished from thin air. You get it. Visit her disk. Search ceaselessly for an elder. Dismissing Bat is kinda old. She could not have gone too far, I think.
Hi again, Shade. Did you manage to find anyone? Well, here I am. This is where I have to be, right? Yep. First, meet Ishmael and Baron. They should be able to help you out with most of your problems. Excellent, Shade. Thank you very much. Are you fellows ready to get started? I suppose. Are we going to receive training of some sort? That would probably be a good idea. It'd be sensible to orient you with your new surroundings. Well, uh, I ask because I'm not a maintainer at heart. I could learn rather quickly. I'm sure that won't be much of an issue. So, how long is this contract? Ah, a uh, contract? That word makes me nervous. Although maintenance is a pretty long-term deal, I think, I think we can work something out where I just pay you by the job. I can offer you a place to live if you wish. I suppose that can work out. Alright, let's get started then. Please follow me to the water plant. Actually, make sure you drop by later so that I can reward you. I mean here at my home of course, you don't have to walk to the plant.
I've forgotten who Pertusk is. That was the canine guy. Shade, great of you guys to come and visit again. Well, I'll be in the Owl's dinner. Hey guys, I don't think I'll be able to stay long. I just have a request. Oh, what would that be? We had a bit of a scuffle with Southern Ken. You what? Alright. I guess you forgot to tell you everything we witnessed so far. I believe we've done more than witness these events, Shade. What are those bastards up to now? I did hear about their attack on Pilbinaria. Did you know about this? We, uh, we actually took part in driving them away. Word's been getting out about this. Curtis, did you seriously not know Shade took him down? No, I didn't. Then again, I was pretty occupied up here. What else did I do? We only ever encountered them again in Emerald, but not as a sizable army that time. Instead, there were only a few, dressed in some kind of strange armor. They were able to cloak themselves. I've never seen this sort of technology before. Huh. Shade, I see we made a couple new friends. Ah oh, yeah, this is Joseph and the shy one's Sirocco. Speaking of Sirocco, he's the reason we are here. We managed to remember some coordinates the cannons belted out before making their escape. I thought you could help us locate where the place is. Well, sure we can do that for you. Gosh, it sounds like you guys have been through a lot. That's a bit um, of an understatement. Well, hey, don't sweat it. We'll see if we can find a waypoint here. What are those coordinates? Siroko should be able to write it down, I think. Is that it? <laughs> Let's see. Ah, I can tell where that is almost immediately. This points to Physican Pen Peninsula. Physican? Ah, I don't think I've ever been there before. I have. Don't worry, Shady, it's a nice place. Hopefully, Sephir remembered to take those stupid death traps down. What was that? Death traps? Never mind. Hey, I've actually heard some really interesting news from that place. Apparently a lot of bats have been gathering in some sort of ceremony. Not for I'm not exactly sure, but it would definitely be good to check out. I hate to be a downer, but it'd probably also be good to check out considering if those southern cannon know about this gathering, they would uh, certainly target such a place on that alone. Especially since you heard those coordinates from a cannon, that could mean very bad news. That's a good point. 
Okay, we'll go ahead and check it out. Thanks for the help, guys. Anytime, Shane. Hey, you actually look a bit tired. Don't you think you should rest up for a bit? Well, uh... I still got a spare bedroom for you guys if you'd like to use it. Go right ahead, trust me, it's no big deal. I'm sure it would help give you the energy for this next chapter of your journey. I suppose we could take a little snooze. Joseph, you up early. I don't think I am the only one. Well, that's not a surprise. Before we head back to Caliban's, there is something I would like to show you. Huh? Let us find a place underneath ground level. Does this facility have such a thing? I think there's a basement. Good. Let us give the basement a visit. The smell of Tau was intoxicating around the ground floor. Tau? Are you being real? Very real. You may be able to even find some if this works. I do respect some other people's property. I am not doing anything to damage the place yet. Uh, maybe this place is blocked off for a reason. Maybe. Let us hope it's not because they actually found some town. Well, what are we going to do if they have it? Steal? Perhaps. We could use it a lot more than them. There is someone out there. Quite a lot of bats in this world, you know. Sounds logic. Sound logic. Observe. What in the world was that? While we were at the water plant, I managed to find some electronic scraps lying around. While you guys slept, I was able to piece together this device. It is a pretty basic thing, but I think I have the models properly configured to detect, detect Tau. Detect Tau? It'll prove to be very handy for us, considering it does what it's supposed to. We have yet to find out if that is the case. How do you... No, there was an opening behind that. Just I guess. There will usually be entryways like this. Some are hidden just as well, some are not. When you see that blue ring, that means there is Tau in the area to search for. Well. In fact, we could go to previous places that we visited and see if we can find more clusters. And maybe, but that sounds like it'd take a bit of work and time. It may. You don't have to, but I would encourage it. Here then. I was given Tau Locator. That's all I wanted to show you. Perhaps you will make good use 
use of it. May the cannon fall at our feet, either way. Oh, Shade, welcome back. We got a new waypoint. We will be heading out to Physic and Peninsula. Will you be able to... ...sing a map of that into the ETP? Sure thing. Give me a moment. Ah, that was quick. I've been to Physic and quite a few times. May I ask why you're heading over there? I feel like there's some suspicious activity going on over there. A festival seems to be taking place and the cannon mentioned the coordinates. That's definitely reason for suspicion. Just make sure you remain aware. Don't get in too deeply if it turns out dangerous. Cannon are a force to be reckoned with, especially with how faster technological knowledge is growing. Anyway, the destination has been added. Go ahead and travel to Physican when you're ready. And be careful, yeah? Chapter 8, The Order of Sound. Good Nocturna, look at all of this! There are quite a few bats here. Yeah, I don't think I've seen anything like this. Not even at a place like Tree Haven. I mean... I've been to a lot of towns, thanks to you guys, but I didn't think it'd be possible to have a gathering like this. It makes me a little nervous, honestly. We still don't have much of a clue as to why a celebration like this is taking place, huh? Well, I'm sure we'll find something in the Haven, if there is one. Hey, Zirogo! Oh, damn it. I can tell that this is going to be a reoccurring thing. Hey Shade, don't sweat it. Zero has never seen festive activities like this before. It's understandable, he'd want to run off. I get that, but I don't want to spend hours looking for him. Physican doesn't look too large. I'm sure that won't be a big problem. We'll have to keep the startling amount of people in mind too. Well, screw you guys, I'm getting me some grub. Who knows what delicacies, delicacies, del delicacies they're cooking up here? Good food. <laughs> really? I uh, think I'll grab a bite to eat as well. Ever since you got here, the smell's been driving my stomach crazy. Guys, this is irresponsible. Don't worry, Shade. I'll stick with you. Likewise. Perhaps splitting would help us survey the area more effectively. I guess so.
There are a lot of people here. To find people who will bother talking to you, look out for those who seem less active. I saw someone trying to get close to Gretchen Solaris, but he was promptly knocked out by ninja guards. Just a heads up if you got the hots for her. What? <laughs> that was uh, interesting. Ah yes, here I am, respecting other people's property. Do they make the potions out of insects? I could go for a tiger moth slurpee. The festivities out there are overwhelming. Too much to do, so much to take in at once. Business has never been this booming. So dazzlingly dreaming, you'll most definitely pave the way for a brighter future for us all. Oh, oh hi, you're doing all right. Huh? What? What made you want to come talk to a loser like me? Well, probably the fact that you're the only one sitting here on the ground right now. Uh, more folks should try it out. It can get tiring walking back and forth for a while. You really care to know what I'm up to? Why are you rubbing your face? Got knocked out. Knocked out with love. It hurts like a bastard. What? Also got knocked out by some sort of blood object. I'm pretty sure of that. I had a simple mission. And that was to approach the love of my life. The one my heart flutters away from. The angelic voice. The one and only, Gretchen Solaris. Who is that? Oh, ignorance is bliss. Surely you would lose your mind thanks to the unfathomable reaches of her beauty. She is a singer and chosen to grace us with her presence today. You can find her in the place just south of here. I'm not allowed anywhere near her anymore. So I was wondering if you could do me a favor. I have a well-crafted, wholesome letter lovingly made with the goodest of intentions. This letter must, be re must reach her before she leaves at all costs. Are you serious? Yes and no. It's stupid, but let me cut to the good part. You will be rewarded very well. See that it reaches her and then come back to see me. It is very simple. What makes you think she would respond differently to me? You think I want to get knocked? knocked out too? You appear like a handsome young fellow. Modest too. Go on. Take it or leave it. There is nothing more I can do than beg someone else for help. And you are the only one who has bothered to approach me. I got the love letter. Sweet Nocturna. I won't anticipate anything, but I still can't help but think about my love. So close, yet so far. What are you doing? There's so much to do. Don't just stand there. Go have fun. Oi. Don't go any further. You are not allowed on stage. Step onto the stage. Oi. What? I'll have you know, Mrs. Solaris actually paused the show for a few seconds to tell me to instruct you to come back after she is finished. Um, okay. Okay, that's all they have to say, huh? 
Well, I'm flattered, I guess. Miss Solaris has a lot of fans. You don't appear to be one, yet she is actually interested in you enough for some reason to want to speak to you privately. <coughs> so yeah, you better be flattered. Don't forget to see her. That would be incredibly rude. I don't see why I shouldn't. Maybe I can make some time. Plus she's kinda pretty. <clears throat> so good, that's enough. Let's get together with everyone else on. Where is he running off to now? I oftentimes have to come here to take care of anyone who has become injured in the arena. I'm ready! I'm ready to go! I'm ready to fight, damn it! You stupid cannons are really going to get it! I have a ways to go when it comes to battling, but I am ready for every single one. The sight of blood can be disturbing to me, but sometimes watching a battle can be so thrilling. Hello there! You look like a powerful warrior. Welcome to the Physican Arena, sponsored and supported by Lubin himself. You come quite a bit uh, for bad time. Honestly, we don't have many monsters left to fight and they are hard to come by. With the amount of people that come here for training now, it's understandable we are having a hard time keeping up with demand. If you would still like to fight the weaker monsters we have left over, you are free to do so. But I have a proposition. If you could perhaps bring me a combination of monster materials and other items, it will be easier for us to be able to create more creatures. These materials are usually just common drops for monsters you can find out in the villains. So are you ready to fight? You have defeated the hideous creatures. Come back. Excellent match, my friend. If you can take out all the rest of the monsters on my list, I'll reward you with an awesome weapon. You should try and unlock all of them first, though. Please come again. This is brilliant. For once in a long time, bats of all cultures, cultures have gathered to celebrate. Very tasty stuff. The lower down the list you go, the more stat points you gain. Of course, there are, those are the more expensive dishes. I may have to eat this table if my food doesn't get there fast enough. I've eaten wood before, alright? It isn't that bad. <laughs> I ain't leaving here until I get my grub. Why don't you go and look for Sirocco or something? Pretty sure you should be worrying about him more than us. I'm 
minute meal, but it is satisfying enough. Can you imagine? This could be the start of the second battle. You know which one I'm talking about. Ever since the Order of Sun was created, weapon and armor shops have seen a lot of business. If these pieces of armor actually fit me, that's not practical for combat. I cut myself once. I just wanted to feel how my enemies felt when I pulverized them. <laughs> oh, look at the edge lord! Ooh, <laughs> never seen a girl taking such interest in weapons before. Maybe I should talk to her. You want weapons? Of course you do. I saw someone trying to get closer to Christian Solaris, but he was promptly knocked out by the Ninja Guard, which is... Uh, okay, I already talked to him. Okay. Sorry, but we're currently making preparations inside. We'll have to come by later on. Seems like the only way to proceed. 
see this to Oi. Don't go further, not go on the sage. Does he have to see everything? This was already annoying, but he's crossing the line. Siroko, stop! Seriously! You could get lost out there. Take it easy. Let's just meet again with the others and stay closer, right? Who knows what could be out there? You think your parents would really like you behaving like this? Oh, that's real cute. <laughs> Come on. Damn it. I can't believe this. Uh, Dick? Dude, what's wrong with you? You look like complete crap. <laughs> we just uh, had ourselves a little contest and Dick's feeling a little down. That's, that is what is to be expected when you try to compete with an eating master. I'm like a disposal machine over here. What? Too much... Oh, quit your whining. You haven't even finished your second plate. That's just sad. Shinok, he seriously does not look very good at all. I'm not sure what you want me to do about it, that. Can't you see I'm still busy enjoying my fourth course? I think you had enough, fat arse. I can usually eat more than this, I think. I think I still can. No. Oh, I think I'm sick. He, he looks awful. We really should give him something comfortable to lie on. Yeah, you're probably right. Is there some kind of inn around here? Uh, 
I think this will do. Hope you guys are happy. You just ruined one of the best time ha I've had in forever. You're positive no one will come back to get the unpleasant surprise of someone napping on their bed. No, I'm not sure, but this is the best you can do right now. If you have to, we'll just convince whoever the owner is. We should let him be for the time being, guys. What's our uh, next course of action then? I've been trying to keep Sirocco with the group, but he's having way too much fun running around. I really don't blame him, but we should definitely try to get him back before he gets lost in his crowd. Alright, let's continue chasing him. I have no clue where he could be at the moment, so let's be quick. going on here? Siroko, did you do this? Is this your friend? I'll have you know he is in deep trouble. He just barged in here without permission and then started using magic on us. Siroko, is this true? Hey, calm down. Look, he's just frightened. You guys didn't handle him roughly, did you? We weren't just going to just let him waltz around. We could have killed those people down there. If he did, he's going to pay the price. Pay the price? They look fine. Who the hell are you guys anyway? Why are you acting like some kind of police force? This kid doesn't even know who we are. How ignorant. Ha. Huh. You call him a kid. Maybe you're the one who is ignorant. Just when I thought it couldn't get any better. Shade Silverwing himself walks into my haven. Shade Silverwing? That is correct. Surely the goddess herself has blessed all of us on this very day. Everything is beginning to piece together. I knew this entire organization would not be created in vain. Oh now, I'm not going to harm you. Very impressive magic, by the way. Shade Silverwing, it appears you have also come with the aid of fellow warriors. Yeah, sorry about this whole thing. I really hope Siroka didn't hurt anyone too badly. It should pose no problem. My name is Lubun, Lubun of the Order of Sound. I am the elder of this haven. I'm sorry, Order of Sound? Wow, you're an elder. I expect all elders to be old or something. The Order of Sound is a culmination of our collective disdain for the factions that terrorize us through the seasons. Are you aware of the growing diversities in our cultures? All around us, merging is becoming more and more prevalent. Bats of all kinds are starting to progress from tradition. Towns are becoming more common than colonies. We are expanding and embracing many different ways of life. You're wondering what I'm trying to get at here. It is through this diver diversification that we're coming together as one and preparing a vicious storm. There's a line. We can finally put our differences aside and rise against the true enemies. The ceremonial speech begins shortly. I would be most honored if you could attend Shade Silverwing. Well, I don't see why not. I'm actually kind of inter interested in this order of sound. Splendid! It shall be held in the upper floor. Feel free to explore the haven to your heart's content. 
I've had some large shoes to fill ever since Zephyr left the reins to me. But I think I did well enough. If I can't find that one guy, what kind of a warrior am I? Please do Jen enjoy the time exploring our haven, Mr. Shane, but please refrain, refrain from stealing anything. Physic has changed quite a bit ever since this organization was founded. Your friend really packs a wallop with that magic. Perhaps he should join our ranks. Huff, huff, huff. You're doing okay there. Of course, just getting pumped for my next workout session. It's just a bit of a problem. I don't think I can go through it, man. I'm sorry as hell, but I need this done as soon as possible. Uh, what? The sword, man. The sword. It yearns for the freshly spilled blood of a hideous monstrosity. I just made some modification to this beautiful thing, and I need to make sure they're good for battle. Do you dare wield this blade and smite the unholy with its glistening visage? So you just need me to kill a monster with your sword? Yeah, pretty much. This is an immediate session, so if you have something better to do, I suggest you get that done first. If you can kill the thing with this blade on your own, I will reward you very nicely. Why do I have to be the only one fighting? Look, all this is for the sake of experimentation, alright? Do you want to smite the unholy or not? Maybe later. That's cool, but really would like this done in one sitting, so keep that in mind. I'll pay you. Smite. So you said the creatures live around this area? Yes, yes, they're definitely here. Trust me. You don't want to just go around looking for the bastards. I think I can hear one now. Over there! Get ready! This is going to be awesome! This sword might have a different sword to tell though. Ah, don't worry about it, it's fine. Excellent, here comes another. Oh boy. Sword just broke. Oh, well, that's not good. You're telling me. Hold on, let me see if I can fix it. <laughs> fix it and hurry. Okay, okay, she's just give me a second or two.
damn it. Okay, here. Did you seriously just tape this up? What did you expect? We don't have very much time here. No, you're absolutely right, we don't. Why? Why couldn't we just have brought my own weapons? That ruins the experiment! There you go. Unless they had children, this should be the last one of the bunch. Sweet Nocturne. Seriously hurt here. If it's any consolation, that sword actually didn't contribute much to your overall power level. What? But tell me, you haven't noticed? Look, sword or sword, sword or no sword, you, you could be getting rid of a big press problem. Gonna look on the bright side. I kind of dislike you. Physical, but also to my research. Thanks for your help. by magic before. It's a unique sort of pain. Yeah, I can Shade Silverwing, yes! Do you think you can help us out with something if you're so kind? What do you need? Y you see, my superior would kill me if I told him this, but while a few of us were surveying the mountain up ahead, we left behind a cache of uh, medical supplies. If you ever need to go up that red place, could you please look around and see if you can locate it? I don't see why not. I'll keep an eye out for it. I really appreciate it. It's a pretty bright colored package. It shouldn't be easy to miss. I think that's a good place to stop. 